These are commonly used to treat influenza and colds, but they've also proven very effective to treat COVID-19. Let me ask you all a serious question. Is there an over-the-counter medicine that's 90% effective in treating COVID-19? Well, don't worry if you don't know the answer, because today we have our very special guests, Drs. Lee and Oliver Barrett, are here to tell you the answer to this important question. Now I'm here today to tell you about Lianhua Qingwen capsules. These are commonly used to treat influenza and colds, but they've also proven very effective to treat COVID-19. This is one of the first medicines to be approved here in China for treatment of mild and moderate symptoms of COVID-19. During the initial outbreak of coronavirus, these were used to treat nearly 100 million people around the globe. The results of a clinical trial published in Phytomedicine, a European journal, showed that in the treatment of COVID-19, symptoms were reduced by over 90%. So there you have it. That's exactly why you should be picking up Lianhua Qingwen capsules to stay safe. Wow. This is some next level stuff right here. I mean, this channel has often gone after shills like the Barrett's, but they have seriously sunk to an all time low with this one. So it seems that our great friends, the Barrett's here, are using the COVID-19 pandemic to scare people into buying a product that hasn't even been proven to work. First of all, I want to look at the actual report that they cited in their little shyster commercial. So this report is vague at best, and it heavily relies on statistics from China, a country with a really, really bad reputation for bodging its stats. To me, it looks very suspicious and could have been written by any Tom, Dick or Harry. The fact that the same information is being published by Chinese state-run media is enough to ring alarm bells for anybody. Next, let's take a look at this medicine that's in question. The Barrett's are claiming that this has been proven to be effective against the symptoms for COVID-19. But this is a medicine, a medicine that hasn't even passed phase two for FDA approval. That's right. Since 2016, that's five years ago, this medicine has been seeking FDA approval and hasn't even made it past phase two trials. That's very worrying. Furthermore, it's even been put on a warning list by the FDA as a fraudulent COVID-19 product. It's very worrying. Are the alarm bells starting to ring now? Because for me, the alarm bells are going off the scale. They're about to explode. So this medicine has not even been proven to be effective against the common cold or flu-like symptoms. And yet the Barrett's are claiming that it can be effective against COVID-19. At the very least, even if the medicine was effective against COVID-19 symptoms, which are similar to flu-like symptoms, you get a headache, you get a fever, even if it was effective against these symptoms, why would you mention COVID-19 in the commercial? For example, I could talk about ibuprofen and paracetamol being very good for a headache, being very good for reducing a fever, but would I mention that it could be effective in treating COVID-19? Absolutely not. But the Barrett's are claiming that this medicine, this so-called medicine that hasn't even passed FDA clinical trials is effective against COVID-19. They would have been better off in their silly little commercial just talking about how this medicine could possibly be effective against flu-like symptoms. Why did they even have to mention COVID? These guys are just unbelievable. But this is exactly what the Barrett's do. They are willing to put their name on any product, even products that they don't have a clue about. They've done it in the past, in the present, and they're gonna do it in the future. Take a look at this example. This is a really smart, slick design. It's got really nice lines. It's very ergonomic. 
and there's a number of advantages to this. So the first thing is plug and play. You can just plug it into a modern TV. He has an RGB output and also we have a HDMI port. So you can plug straight into the modern best high-tech televisions and away you go. You'll have a, a shitty games console that got blasted by the online gaming community. The Barretts endorsed this piece of shit and they got so many complaints about it, it's just unbelievable. And here's a clip of Lee Barrett actually telling us that he endorses products that he doesn't have a clue what the products actually are. They got a number of sort of um, products and businesses then. It was like, oh, just hold this and say that you endorse this product kind of thing. And, and you know, you, 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 uh, they, they got Ollie do it, doing a few of these where they wanted to sort of endorse products that we'd, <laughs> we'd literally seen five minutes ago and, and didn't know nothing about. And <laughs> that's not to say those products were bad in any way, but we just yeah. didn't really know anything about them. What a complete idiot. Now, it's all well and good trying to make a little bit of money on the side, right? I mean, I need money, you need money, we all need money, right? But actively trying to make money by cheating people is just disgraceful and appalling. And it just shows that if this Barrett guy or these Barrett guys are willing to cheat people openly and knowingly, then can we really take anything that they say about anything seriously? Because they're just a couple of con men. Now, the Warrior 64 scam that the Barretts did and any other little scam that they participated in, although deplorable, disgusting, despicable, and many other words beginning with the letter D, they're actually quite harmless because at the end of the day, all you lost was your money. Granted, that's your hard-earned money, but you didn't lose your life because of this, right? You just lost a little bit of money. But this endorsement of this bogus medicine that hasn't even been proven to help with a cold, let alone treat the coronavirus, is the scummiest thing that this guy has ever done. The absolute lowest of the low. This guy is literally playing with people's lives. I mean, can you imagine if there's some scared and vulnerable person and they end up somehow watching this commercial? They see a couple of British blokes talking about how they've discovered this wonder cure for the coronavirus and they take everything that these guys say for face value. They even noticed that this guy includes some scientific research in his little spiel. They go out, they buy this medicine, and they start to get coronavirus symptoms. They get a cold, they get a fever, they get a headache. And what they do is they just decide to take this medicine because good old Dr. Barrett has told them how amazing it is. Unfortunately, their symptoms get worse and they end up in hospital but it's too late. They didn't get there in time because they took Daddy Barrett's wonder drug. It's tragic, it really is tragic, that they just thought that this crappy medicine, this crappy Chinese medicine, this traditional Chinese medicine is a cure for COVID. They were duped. They were duped by Barrett. So to conclude, the Barretts really don't care what they endorse, as long as they're getting paid for it. I mean, these guys would try to sell you poison if they thought that they could make a buck from it. That's how low these guys are. They're the lowest of the low. And I really don't understand why anybody thinks that these guys are a credible source for information about China. I mean, look at it this way. If they're willing to sell this drug, this drug that is just useless. What else are they willing to try and sell you? The next time the Barretts or anybody who associates with these sycophants comes up to you and tells you how amazing the Chinese government is and what a great job the Chinese government has done with the coronavirus or with anything, try not to take their word for it. Take a step back, have a think about it, and just remember, these are the same guys, the same idiots, 
who targeted vulnerable people with a bogus medicine that can't even help a common cold, let alone the coronavirus. These shields have been busted. The government is behind YouTubers at the moment here in China. and They are protecting foreign YouTubers. Propaganda piece by the government. One, two, three, four, five. ER Sansa. Ooh. I have been so fucking frustrated um, because one, two, three, four, five. ER Sansa. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty impressive feat. ER Sansa. And there she comes. ER Sansa. Which is one, two, three, four, five. Some sort of nefarious thing. Pretty simple one to remember, isn't it? Give me a little fucking break. You know, when I first went to uh, China, I was a golfer. Oh. No. No. Go, go, go. It just seems ridiculous. <laughs> Being paid by and working for the Chinese government to make positive videos about China. That's just absolutely true, 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 true. Guelo, when he, when he opens his mouth, I just can't stop thinking. But I'm pumped. Because there's nothing wrong with it. That's all bull, that's all contrived. That's a conspiracy. You know, he, he complains that people attack him and his family. Well, wake up, Serpent, today. We make videos about China. We get death threats daily on our channels, standing up for truth. So you complaining about people, you know, coming onto your channel and show hate towards your rhetoric. That's your own goddamn fault, you clown. Give me a fucking break. If you like this video of us eating whatever we want, going wherever we want, uh, drinking profusely uh, amounts of alcohol, yes, I'm just in. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Guaylo 60 is kind of a fool. You think that every swastika is a bad swastika? Swastikas in a lot of religions are used um, in, in a positive way. It's like a good luck. When thing. I looked at that, I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've just been educated. Well, I'm not showing the Chinese government in my videos. Taiwan isn't its own country, nor is the ROC the government of China. Taiwan is part of China, and there can only be one top level government in China. There are the only one top level government in China. The people's Republic of China.